Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday I started to fall asleep and I heard the Lord make a reference to the third temple. In Ezekiel 8, we see Ezekiel's vision of the third temple. Ezekiel was taken in his vision to the entrance to the north gate of the inner courtyard of the temple, and in the entrance north of the gate of the altar was the idol that caused God to be jealous. Inside, Ezekiel saw creatures carved in the wall and idols. He saw people worshiping Babylonian gods and people worshiping the sun. These architectural plans you see here are from the third temple for all humankind on the Temple Mountain of Jerusalem by Moses V. Komsky, architect. The Dome of the Rock would serve as the foundation stone of the third temple as, quote, it can easily grant the proper condition for placing the common altar of unified religions. Eight cupolas will be prayer buildings with the main monotheistic religions surrounded by their corresponding mystical practices. I'm not sure if these are the final plans for the third temple, but last night I had a dream that there were multiple bidders bidding over the listing price. The listing price was 800000 which reminds me of when King David took a census to determine the strength of Israel's army, which was 800,000 males. That was the price to pay. Yesterday, after hearing the Lord make a reference to the third temple, I heard the word March. At first, I thought this meant March 2021 as a time frame, as in three and a half years since the first widely talked about Revelation 12 sign, which would make sense in regards to the abomination that causes desolation being set up in the temple at the midpoint. But that assumes a lot. In the context of what I was hearing from the Lord after March, and also relating to Israel's army, the price of 800,000 men, I heard second woe, which is the sixth trumpet, which is when a 200 million man army marches, crosses the Euphrates from the north and from the east with fire, smoke, and brimstone for battle. God is angry, and he can use whatever means he chooses to punish, to discipline, to um, to bring upon Israel what is due because of their um, false worship. In Ezekiel 9, we read that after God marks the foreheads of those crying out in Israel to him and groaning for all the false worship going on, the rest will be killed. Twice now, I've heard the Lord say two times up and double up. Could there be a resurrection rapture date for the Gentiles and another resurrection rapture for the Jewish people who finally recognize Jesus as the Messiah during the tribulation? This has been studied over and over by many people who've come up with many different theories, so I'm just going to leave that as a question for right now. I did have a dream about one person witnessing in the first half and another per person witnessing in the second half. Where are we raptured, resurrected to? The point is really that we'll be with God. The true New Jerusalem comes down out of heaven. The true New Jerusalem in Hebrew literally means Yahweh is there. Receive Jesus as the Messiah so you can live eternally in the presence of the Messiah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, will not die, but will have everlasting life. Praise the Lord.